here. VR Sports on so, the way yeah. to the World Cup. How have I have to go with you, the Liverpool fan? I'm asking like, the same thing. You know man. what I mean? They're pairing up a Liverpool fan, a Man United fan. You know what I mean? Jason's well, on buttons, space. Arsenal fan, in enclosed space. Yeah. That's why all allegiances will be done. It's all for the good of England, yeah, of course, mate. Man. Robbie is due to be with us, but he's hanging back for a little while. Um, his brother Laurie is um, in the hospital at the minute, so he's just making sure that he's going to be all right. So we're going to hold the fort. He's got faith in us. Exactly. You know? he, he actually said Why? this I don't, I don't know. in a text message. <laughs> so we've got written evidence that he apparently has faith in us to do the job in his absence. The but word listen. is apparently. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll see. I think we've arrived. Let's go and have a look and see what it's like. I'm dreading this. Oh my day. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Shortbread. Scotland. <laughs> Shortbread settings. What's it? The flaming hot ones. Big TV, Come on. and the worst thing is we've stopped off going. Oh, we need to get a few snacks and that. They've thought of us. They've thought of everything. Look at this. Aircon's banging. Girls, crisp is cold. Oi, guitar. This is a good start. This is a good start. This is a very good start. Shotgun. No, you can't. What, you, 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 okay. Yeah, you see it. <laughs> this is massive. Wait, oh, oh shit, look how much cereal we got. No, oh my days. <laughs> we went and just bought that. He must have thought it was mad. Why didn't he just say that? Like, you have no, no idea what's actually that as well. They've done actual shopping. We have got one, no. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bro, look at the fridge. Seven, oh, no, 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 no. Wait, Jace, come in, come in, come in. Look at this, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Loaded. Uh, Bro, proper low pack. Nah, nah. nah. Dairy Lee Dunkers. Baby bells. Baby bells. Baby bells. If there's pizzas and stuff, there's frozen stuff in it, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to say. Right, there's bread in there. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. This is nuts. Look at this. Bare stuff. Bare stuff. To be right, fair, all that surprise you don't know. Right. Nah, nah, what the fuck? Is there a bird in here or something, bro? Nah, 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 nah. nah. Uh, Wait, what? That, was that? I hope that's the doorbell. What is that? What is that thing on the wall? What is that though? Is it like from prayer time or something? I thought there was a bird hiding in the corner. I think it's a doorbell. I think it's a doorbell. Bro, I was off. I thought I was an actual bird or something. Is this your trick of the bird? What? You, what, you wouldn't be? <laughs> I was. Come on guys, I've just found something in the cupboard. What have you found? This guy. Apparently there's something really cool in this cupboard. Hey, you can, you can. Oh my Oi. days! Are you serious, bro? Oi! What? <laughs> Oi! Are you mad? This is unreal. Look, it's got flex this face is... on. Oh, my face is on there. My face. What? Oh, no, that's proper. That's proper. That's proper. No. Who's brought? Did you bring these out? Without them. <laughs> nah, no, this is mad. unbelievable. That's mad. That's mad. This that's is mad. unbelievable. Oh, big up DR Sports. This is unbelievable, man. The Air Sports FIFA okay, World Cup. Look at the cereals on yes. deck. Yes. Abby says, bring me back a mug, not just you and Flex. This content we're going to catch up for this whole trip is going to be insane. Already, just getting looked after like this, it just sets the tone. It's 2 a.m. Yeah. in the morning. Right now, we should be flagging, we should be tired, we should be like, oh, we need to go to bed. Uh, we, we got a second wind. 100%. Second wind. Look at this. Actually, I can't wait. I can't Actually, wait I think it's just more. the aircon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, 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 the aircon's on for a bit. I'm gonna get some sleep. You guys go and do the same thing. We'll see you back on the other side with more content. First day, about to absorb that Qatar heat. So we need to give our house a name. You know, like when you get a new car and that, and you give it a name. What's the palace called? What are we calling it? D just, just DRHQ or? DRHQ. DRHQ. At the minute, until we get a good name. Yeah, alright, I'm down for that. And Phil? I'm not down for that, no. Woo. 
two pairs of sunglasses and I've left them both pissed. It is absolutely hot. There's no other word for it. It's I don't even know how. It's probably 30 something. I got my sun cream on factor 50. Yeah. I ain't getting burnt, trust me. Yes, please. No half measures here. I tell ya. So we have just had the most incredible lunch. Three quarters. It's probably like five quarters. It's five. Really. I can't move. Le Petit Rhin Bleu. I'm so glad yeah. that like, you did it because you're the accents guy. I'm that you guy. Do it. Le Petit Rhin Bleu. Yeah. What an amazing place. Like, food was unreal. Proper. Quality. You I, even I, tried some stuff. I'm though. not a dessert man as no, well. And he was like, listen, Flex, you've got this, you've got to do it. And you know what? Proper. Proper we, stuff. In here as well. We've got our World Cup tickets for all of the group stage games and stuff like that. So we're not going to lie to you guys. The work rate we're going to be putting in right here on DR Sports, bringing you guys Facts. exclusive content for almost, well, every single game in the group stage is there. As long as we can physically get to it and we can manage it's, it. It's, it's, if our bodies can <laughs> We're going to push ourselves to the limits for yeah, you guys. Yeah. That's what it is. Big up to Jasim as well. If you man. lot see what's it, honestly. You might as well show them, isn't it? There are tickets. Can we do that? Can we show them? Yeah, look at, look, look at that. Look at that. So, <laughs> look, I, the, we, we've got a lot of, uh, We've got a lot of travelling to do, a lot of games to get to, a lot of content for you guys to watch. Doesn't matter what, there's no dead rubber games, there's nothing. We're going to try no. and do every game we can it, do. Do you know what, it would be disrespectful to even 100%. call any game at the World Cup a dead rubber. Because everyone brings something different. So. Exactly, but I need some sunglasses as well. So. The national team from uh, France, it will be training there now. Okay. Yeah, this one, we will take it from here. And in France, are training just behind us there in that little training ground. Uh, but that literally looks like a stadium. It looks like a spaceship, but he just said it's not a stadium. And apparently this is. Three, two, one. Yes, guys, hello and welcome back to DR Sports. Myself, AGT, and Flex in Look Qatar. At this. Look we at are this. here, right? We're outside the Al Sadd Stadium. The French team are training. I don't know if you can see the, the French flag there, but. It is uh, definitely a team bus actually about what, to enter now. If you just pan around here, I think this is the French team arriving yes, for training it's the French here team. Um, at the stadium. So Mbappe and Co., on Benzema will be on the bus. Bonjour. Champions League, Varane, Rolls Royce, Varane, that is the French team. I just saw Didier Deschamps, Deschamps at is at the front of the bus right here as they're pulling up for their... Yes, you can see the players inside. There's a big police escort. There's kids trying to run over and, and see them as well. They're pulling in down there. You know, that, that, is the, that is the running and the sound of a kid who's just seen his idol. Look at them like bending over, trying to see underneath. Mbappe, please, let me see you. This is what it means to the kids. <laughs> Look at that. We're hearing Mbappe, Benzema. I love that though, man. That's you know what I'm saying. Like, just what it means to the kids to just get a glimpse of their idols. Look, they're so excited. Being told to get off. Yeah. Not allowed to do it. The security's come, told him to get out of the way. Bless him. Oh, he looks upset, man. He ain't even got his shoes on. Probably left his his parents and just went, nah, I'm gonna do it. But there you go. Photo with you guys, sir. Yeah, yeah, sure. I will type down Robbie. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Come in the middle, man. Thank you. Yeah, we're going now to the Khalifa Stadium and uh, there is the, near the Khalifa Stadium we have uh, the mall, it's named Mall of uh, Villaggio Mall. Now we're going there. That's where England's going to play nice. on Monday. England first game settings, we've got to be ready for it. Doha. Bro, look at this. <laughs> that is a hotel, people. That is a hotel. That's that over there, mad. Sim similar to the velodrome in Marseille or Wembley is where England will play Iran Monday night. Not bad, eh, Flex? Like, what are you saying? Uh, would you stay at the top floor? 100%. Right, 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 Why would right, I? right there. Would you not be scared? Nah. Good. You want me scared? Top me, floor. Me and Jason did higher than that in New York. Bro, bro. look up. Is it? Yeah. What did you say? The Empire State Building? <laughs> look how high that is. Do you reckon there's rooms in the middle bit as well? Where the, where the... Yeah, definitely. You wouldn't get any sleep oh, though, would you? So you're living. Oh, oh my god, the football. The football, the football. Oh, no. <laughs> like that stadium looks insane. And he's right. That, 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 the velodrome in Marseille, literally, where it just kind of. It looks like a Pringle, basically. 
A you still uh, going like on a, about Pringles, bro? Because no, you had a couple ketchup ones. No, they're banging. Pringles they're banging. Yesterday. But that no, it looks, I'm saying the stadium Pringles looks like guy. a Pringle, does it not? The shape um, of it, and then obviously you've got the arcs going out, but yeah, the shape of it I'll is a Pringle. I'll give you that. I'll give you that's, that. That was what my point was. Other crisps are available, saying. guys, and we've they got are. all of them. Unless Pringle want to sponsor the yard, then that's fine. Or hula hoops. Time's out, say, Jess. It's over 31, mate. What time do you ask us to be down there? Eight thirty. Poor. First day. Lack of attitude, lack of desire, lack of commitment, lack of discipline. On the first day, we're not even that tired yet. What's he going to be like on day 15? This is terrible, Alex. This is day one. What? I thought we were standing at the what? door at 8.29. Oh, look at the excuses. We all said before we went bed, Who's going to be late? Who's going to be the first one to be late? Right now we're at the Khalifa Stadium. Um, obviously ahead of England's game tomorrow, which is England's first game. But obviously today it is Qatar's first game against Ecuador tonight. So we're going to be doing some work around that, bringing you guys some content. Um, we were here last night and it looks completely different. The only thing I don't like about this stadium is the Man City vibes right there. On, on, a, on a personal, yeah, that little whirly kind of thing when you, when you walk into the stadium, that is literally what the Etihad has, which is a no-no. But it's not the Etihad and it's not England, so it's fine. I can let it pass, but no. Literally, sun on the net back right there, boy. Oof. Can feel that. And this is half nine in the morning. The fact that I was like, yeah, you know what? Weather's actually pretty cool, it's all right. Yeah, Flex, it's half nine in the morning, mate. <laughs> now you've got a factor 50. <laughs> Right, here we go. First Let's go. Morning show. First morning show, man. Energy, vibes, all of them things. Let's do what we came here to do. Welcome to the daily show, the morning show that you're going to get every single morning while we're here out in Qatar. Welcome back to DR Sports and Flex and I found ourselves in the Adidas headquarters in the Aspire Zone. Head of England's first game of the World Cup here in Qatar. Oh, yeah, look at the view, man. It, do, it really doesn't get much better than this, does exactly. it? Exactly. And no. think what the atmosphere is going to be like, probably, well, this time tomorrow as it's starting to build. Yeah. Um, yeah, but as England are going to be taking on um, Iran in there tomorrow night. Do you know what? As we stand here now, we are a few hours away from the start of the World Cup. Exactly. We've actually exciting. got to wrap this up and, and head down there. Exactly. So, um, yeah, massive shout out to Jason that's looking at his watch yeah. thinking, actually, wrap yeah, true. Up. Let's get Anyway, up. peace. <laughs> Player. So that is the silver boot award for player who scores the second most highest goals. So that will be Marcus Rashford from Manchester United will probably be, be picking it up. Uh, <laughs> the golden glove, that will be Jordan Pickford. He will concede the least goals and have the most clean sheets. Um, and here is the golden ball award as well. So yeah. yeah. Trent, for what? Just being a good sport, just, just being a good sport and encouraging the guys nice from the bench. Yeah. Fair, fair play, fair play, fair play. There you go. So yeah, incredible, incredible space that Adidas have here, um, out here in Qatar as well. And it'd be really, really accommodating. And it's just amazing to see how they set up shop and really make it their own. But wow, it's going to be interesting to see what players get these awards. Now we're on our way to the stadium, the Albat Stadium for Qatar versus Ecuador. See you there. <laughs> It is starting to build up. There's lots of fans up behind me, Qatar fans right there, you know. On their way to their first ever World Cup. It's big for them, their first ever World Cup, man. I hope they get the W. Um, do you know what? I think since we found out that we were going to come to Qatar, it's all been leading up to this moment. We're now walking into the stadium for the first game. And if you weren't excited before, I think now is the time to, to get amongst the World Cup fever because it's only up after this. You know, 100%. I just can't believe how the stadium looks. Like it literally looks like, like two tents. It's mad. And then around it is literally that, that whole tent kind of wall as well. First impressions, it's mad. 
in my life. So, I just want to see the pitch, and then I'll feel a lot more comfortable knowing that this is a football stadium. But this is the opening ceremony of the World Cup. I think it feels like they've got the roof closed. It feels really warm in here as well. It's Enna Valencia, the veteran striker of Ecuador, to take this penalty and slots home easily. As you can see, the Ecuador fans are going absolutely mad. And it is 1 0 Ecuador. This is not going to get chalked off. And Enna Valencia has scored the first goal of the FIFA World Cup here in Qatar of 2022. Ecuador just. Just haven't got the quality. It's going to be a really uh, tough group for them. 57,000 um, inside here today at the Albad Stadium. So a very good turnout, but unfortunately for the Qatari fans, they don't have anything to shout about. Right, people, we are leaving the Albad Stadium. The first game has finished. Ecuador two, Qatar nil. If I'm really honest with you, Qatar very poor, way off it. Ecuador way better. Do you know what? You won't believe me, but it's actually freezing. That's why I'm wearing this. I wish I brought a little jacket or something, a jacket. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head out now and try and speak to some Ecuador fans after Enna Valencia with a double puts them top of the group for the first game of the World Cup. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. As you can see, the Ecuador fans are going absolutely crazy behind us. They've beaten Qatar by two goals to nil. They think they're going to win it. I'm really proud to and every day of my life. Win! Your spidey senses are telling you you're going to win the World Cup. Yeah, yeah, they're telling me, it's telling me, it's telling me something that we are going to do. Something's I, I up, something's up. Yes, 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 it's <laughs> going to be fantastic. Thank you, guys. That is what the World Cup is about, man. Listen, you can't deny that when you join countries together around the world, whether it's South America, whether it's Europe. Look, we've got Swiss fans here. We've got Switzerland in the house just joining Ecuador for no reason. If this isn't, look, they're all singing Ecuador. I was singing Ecuador, I'm English. Hey! <laughs> hey! Ecuador! Ecuador! <laughs> Ecuador have raised the curtain at the World Cup with two goals from Enna Valencia and they've won the first game and we've got to see what, what, what more it has to offer. We're out of it. Hope you've enjoyed it. Peace. The Al Khalifa Stadium as well where England take on Iran today in their first game of the World Cup. The first Iran! meeting. Do you know what? We just saw a West Ham fan <laughs> bouncing into the stadium. Oh, no, do it. Come on, you know. <laughs> I love it when we say, you'll be here forever, blah, blah, blah. Probably Saka actually. Yeah, he's good. Memphis! Oh! oh. Yeah! Oh. Go, 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 go. Classes, go. Talk to me about USA performance today. Yeah. <laughs> Better result. We're ready for life, we're ready for day. What day is it? Free. Day three now. No, it's four, bro. All the sure. two teams though that are in action today, France and Argentina, big heavyweights. Oh, oh, he's done him! Oh!
Argentina by two goals to one. Oh my days! How do you feel? How do you feel? Come on! Look what it means! Look what it means, man! Well done, my brother, well done! This is what it means to the fans here in Saudi, they're beating Argentina. This is what it means to this man. Well done. Well done, you deserved it. Well done, come on. Yes. That's what it is. Wow. Wow. Look at the energy inside here. The Saudis are going absolutely crazy. They're beating Argentina by two goals to one. Unbelievable. Like, that was special. Like, honestly, that was like... We were sat there, Roy called it. Where do we find Messi? Where is he? Messi! 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 It's not going to be like a tube where there's no aircon, so it's fine. Everyone is so gassed. Well, I say everyone, everyone but Argentinian fans. Saudi Arabia fans are in loud voice. It's been an incredible day. I haven't even got my voice left. Me and Hassan absolutely killed it. We felt like a Saudi Arabian all day. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable scene. So now let's get back, get some rest. And we've got an event to go to tonight. about to go and see Jason De Euros Derulo um, apparently so we've been invited down It's my first World Cup, it's your first World Cup. Yeah, it's my first World Cup, so I'm happy that ESPN brought us out. We're here for the whole month, so living it up. Actually happened. It's just a dream, man. Is this, can I just say, you know, you bring the bags and oh, everybody tidies up. Stadium cleaning. Stadium cleaning. Unbelievable. That's amazing. More people need to do that around the world. Oh, okay, okay. Ara, yes. Ara, teach ara, ara, teach ara, everybody. Yes. Yes, yes. Teach. I want you to teach people okay. in England oh, to do oh, this. Oh. Amazing. We need this in England. People need to be more kind. Take care of everything. This is amazing. 
in England, yeah. It, we need people to do this in England and be more kind. Like this Japanese is great, amazing. Thank God! Go, let's go! Two one. Can Jap can Japan make it out of the group now? Does that put them in a strong position? It's all to play for in that group. I am operating off zero. I'm empty, so I'm off to sleep. Peace. He said if the Saudis can do it, so can Ghana. And it's gonna be an upset, that's what he told me. But let's see, it's like this stadium, the 974. It's made out of 974 shipping containers. I don't know how close you can see that, right? All the way around there. And you know that after this World Cup's finished, they're just gonna dismantle it and put them probably back to using them as storage containers. It actually feels like I'm in a shipping container. Like, this is insane. Straight to the spot for Portugal. That looks soft. Cristiano stepping up. He's brought back out the suit. And that's the game done. Portugal 3, Ghana 2. No, it's very poor. And VAR no, didn't even very, get involved. There's no VAR on that match. There are two offlines. No VAR. What is this? This is a tint. We have to. Again. The penalty was wrong. The penalty was wrong. Why, why do you think they got the penalty? Because they took the penalty. Why is the VAR on the VAR? Why is the VAR on the VAR? Do you what think it was that? because it's Ronaldo? That's why they give it. This is a tint. Next time, he will go sit up. No, no, it's on here, it's on here. <laughs> she pulled the mic off. She pulled the mic off, it's gone. It's in there somewhere. Yes, no. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. I'm fucking tired, I ain't gonna lie. I'm tired. Hear this guy, Jason. He said he's tired. Oh. One little fight in the, in the Bruce up with your legs all the way up there. Just watching your stuff, Jason. Right? Early on, yeah? The garden one. <laughs> And I was just like, the contrast, right, between that African, right, like Ghanaian, Nigerian, and that Portuguese woman. Oh, you're talking to the Portuguese woman. scared, that's You're like, talking to the Portuguese <laughs> woman, and she's going there, and then that woman just comes and goes, you're cheating! <laughs> Took the mic off the video. Yeah, the video. <laughs> and when you look at the score as well. Oh, snap. Look at this guy. Man, no. Look Listen, this man. Guy. Look at this guy. There's a new guy in town. Look at this guy. There's a new... No, sit down, sit down. I'm going to take a piece. There's a new guy in town, yeah? I'm here, I'm have arrived, I'm in Qatar, right? I'm glad to be here. Continue. Oh, thank you. Nice of you to join <laughs> us, you know? You know what I mean? Let, you get all the hard work, you know, get the leg work, get, let us find out what's what, where yeah. to go. <laughs> and then he comes up, once you guys have sorted all that, that out, then I'll Runs make you out, out you know? <laughs> England, USA. Got to quickly get three points off them. That's what we're doing. Light work, 2-0. The Outback Stadium. Looking forward to it. Love the design of this stadium. Love the design of it. It looks like a tent in it. It's brilliant. United boys, we're United boys, bro. Yeah. Anyone so, want a picture with this guy? No. Anyone? You? You? You're going to be in the video, bro. Peace signs up. Arsenal fans from India. Where's the United fans from India? Ah, no. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Terrible. Terrible. Wales, the brilliant game. And now England, USA. Ask him this in three days. Now in Russia. No, but hold on. In Russia, you couldn't do that, right? Because, you know, 
You did one game, it's like a seven hour flight to the next venue, you know what I mean? You so, see, the next one's going to be in Mexico, Canada and America. Oh yeah, yeah, that'd so. be a lot of trouble. <laughs> I've been asked to sum the game up in one word. Shite. After that, the old England is back. Come to the Sheikh's house, first time. Let's not call it a house. It's his complex, forward. his Let's resort. It. Let's put some respect on it. Yeah, the Sheikh's grounds. Yeah. Because I'll tell Compact. you what, mate, this is, we've only really obviously come straight into this is front of the house here yeah, where they area. welcomed the guests. They, they uh, had their praying time as well. They welcomed us. And now we're going to uh, some camel racing as well. Yeah. I've never seen that before. Camel. I didn't even know it was a thing. How fast they go? I, yeah, do you reckon they're like, Super fast, so it's like it's I can't stuff. imagine them being camels being fast, yeah. All them pumps. I'm so intrigued. I've never seen, I've actually never really seen camels up close before. There's literally more camels than people, look, they're everywhere. It's mad how they just sit down and just collapse in. We're, we're in the car and the camels the camels basically race on this side and the cars go alongside I think that's what happens the cars go alongside the race so you get like a first hand view of the race it's not like Formula One where you're sitting there and then it's just going to zoom past my understanding is that we're actually going to move with the camels there's people on the other side as well there's a whole big broadcasting scene everyone's waiting for the camels to start I think one of the races is about to start I can see it on the screen there as well so let's see yeah they're about to start This is insane. This is like, this is like, I don't know, GTA camel racing. <laughs> This is absolutely insane. I have never experienced anything like this. Basically, the way you watch the race is the road is on this is on both sides of the track. You've got hundreds of cars. Bumper to bumper, keeping up with the camels. The camels got these little electric makeup like jockeys on top because you can't have people that are too heavy for the camels. And each side just tracks the race and you just follow the race. On the radio, so everyone turns the right station on. And then there's the TV, the radio guys at the bottom commentating on it. And we're driving next to it. I've never experienced anything like that. The one that was at the front and then didn't win was you. It was Arsenal. Any any excuses? Though? International break, we said it. Truce, truce, truce. Any opportunity between Liverpool and Man United and Arsenal, always bringing up the club thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, he does. I'm going to get a camel, my racing camel. Yeah. AFTV. Oh, these are the racing ones. Man. These are the racing camels that are just chilling. I think it's and amazing this. how they like fold in and just when they lie down, they just fold their legs really? in and that. Robbie, don't you want to try a ride one? No, uh, yeah. I rode a camel one time in Egypt, man. No. That will be That's good, Egypt that will is be different. Good content, content, bro. Yeah, we'll be getting <laughs> kicked <laughs> off the thing. thing. No, <laughs> man, this is different, Robbie. No, this no. Is, it's still got a few more games to go. We can't afford any yeah, injuries. Yeah, you know. They come out here to go hospital, you know what I mean? Uh, little things over their mouth so you're not going to catch a little. 
That's my biggest fear. You know what I mean? And then someone try and say, "Yeah, it's good luck. It's good luck." Well, whip, man. You know what I mean? Do you want to get? Do you want to get? Yeah, no, no. Right then. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. If I, I get, that right enough, being, I get yeah. that enough at Tottenham, you know what I mean? I'll sort of come all the way out. Yeah, come to get some spit on me, you know what I mean? So raucous. Every time Argentina get the ball, they're booing them. We're in the Mexico end, that's just Messi play, even Mexican fans, let's be real about it. No, Messi's here, everywhere. Messi's the best player of the world. And he's gonna be here on the 18th of December, here in Lusail, again. Playing the final, in the final for the World Cup. And, and the world will see it. Remember my name, my name is Alfonso Campeni from Argentina. <laughs> and we will be playing here 18th of December. I'm happy, obviously, I want Messi to win. I want Messi the to World win Cup. the World Cup, I want him to win. Really? You yeah. want Argentina to win the whole thing? Yeah, yeah. I want, I, it's obviously England, uh, you know, coming home and all of that <laughs> stuff, but in my heart of hearts, I want him to complete it all, retire from international football and be done with it. Yo, we're just about to breeze out to the yacht, you know what I mean? Well, at least Alex told us it's a yacht, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm wondering if we get out there. It's, this is up later. Some, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> some little dinghy, you know what I mean? Right? Don't worry, man. We'll be living good, Don't worry. We need to hope that uh, well, Alex here yeah, is not the flipping J from in between us, yeah? <laughs> yeah, it's a yacht. Yeah. Been on it before, yeah. Exactly. Fred's got a massive exactly. yacht. Exactly. We get there, mate, we're just doing back and forth, mate, yeah, trying to get the feet going oh, on cool. one side. <laughs> Remember, this, guys, this is on him. If this is some little right. dinghy thing or some little fishing boat, you know what I mean? We're, but also we're, keep we're, the same we're, energy, yeah? yeah keep the sick, same yeah. energy when we get on there and it's sick. Yeah, yeah? That's Just keep the Still same energy. Still we're up with that we're on the boat, yeah, we're scaling fish. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But he has co-signed it, to be fair. If, if we get on there, <laughs> we're right. like, rah, this thing's all right. Okay. all right. Alex, he came through. Then Let's we've got to give him his props. If he comes through, props, that's fair. Come on, bro. Yeah, if fair. he don't come through, Trust me, we're on you. All to go fishing. And this, is a, this is a real Yardie. If you tell Yardies there, it's a party on a boat, yeah? All white party. See me shoes, yeah? See me socks. See me shorts and that all white party, yeah? We're going on a boat, we're walking, mate. We're going here. I mean. Look, he's looking really worried. You know, the man's trying to locate the, locate the guy who sorted it out. Oh, mate, what's going on? Where is it? I'm nice. here, like... Now we've got to walk for like half hour. By the time we get there, we'll be a sweaty mess. Although, it does yeah. feel quite breezy, like there is there water is nice, about, maybe somewhere. Nice breeze, yeah. <laughs> Feels You'd a bit... Probably be walking, like, you know, you don't see them films when they're in the desert and they've got like a twig. They're trying to find water, like... Yeah, is that you? Yeah. Where is the harbour, man? Up here on the right. Huh? Listen, just relax, big fan. He's head, man. So I'm not some sense into himself before he gets on the boat. We, well, that's been late. You know what I mean? The guys organised this thing. Listen. Yet again, flops. You know what I mean? Same, um, would you listen? Rob, could have got a taxi, angry, right? Look, you said no taxis run down there. <laughs> look, look, look at the amount of Ubers passing us. That's not my fault, is it? I'm not in the long walking thing. Man didn't speak English. Huh? He could speak English. Cab driver, he was dead up. He did. I heard him saying you're a wanker. A wanker. He goes, hey, guy, wanker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Robbie, Robbie, put, wanker, Robbie puts the That's... most amount of expectancy on AGT yet to deliver. The pressure on my shoulders. <laughs> yes, Rob. Yes. Right. yes. Liverpool, yeah. yeah. Liverpool, man. Liverpool are dead round there, man. I told you already, man. Arsenal run the Middle East. Arsenal run the Middle East. Second Man United. First Man United, mate. <laughs> Most uh, I'm not going to lie though, 
there's some there's some Johnny Depp like Pirates of the Caribbean things parked up. Yeah. yeah. But there's also some there's also some DJ Khaled things parked up. So which one are we gonna be on? Because <laughs> there's, there's, the <laughs> there's a few there's a few there's a big disparity between some of them. Some of them I've seen them both in Jamaica. Yeah, I <laughs> other told ones, you, man. I told you. Other ones I've seen in Monaco. The so fishing boat. Or Sandro Pay. Good to see you. Mate. Nice okay. Okay. Mate. Yeah, all Pleasure, good, man. Mate, yeah. All good. Nice to meet you, Ash. Yeah. Right. That's nice to meet Rob. Nice to meet you, Ash. Yeah. 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 Ye
the heaven and the next, next uh, round is going to be amazing. We're going to explode everything with, with Australia. So yes. we're going to be here. Congratulations. on the yacht, let's go. Oh, Robbie got me carrying around his fucking swimming trunks in an M&S bag. About to go on a yacht and he's brought an M&S bag. What's wrong with him, man? Jet ski life, baby. The question is, should we throw Liverpool fan Alex overboard or not? Just remember who sorted all of this out for you, Robbie, yeah? You should be getting thrown overboard, bro. <laughs> yeah, so the match. Yeah, really 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 overboard, really listen, really you're gonna grateful and this is crazy. Um, but both countries went home yesterday after Mexico did beat Saudi Arabia 2-1 but it was not enough to top Poland who did open water. I ain't going in there without uh, a little life, life jacket. jacket or something. Yeah, Have we got them? Yeah, sure awesome. The you know I mean? thing is I can swim but I'm not a good swimmer. Yeah, I need to know. I, if I'm in a pool well, I know I can go from A to B <laughs> quickly if I want to get out or I, you know, I can just swim there and get out. Yeah. Knowing I'm in open I'm not so good if I'm if I've got nothing on because I can't tread water. Is it more fear? Ah. I can't tread water. Yeah. So. Oh, just a quick one. <laughs> when I do get in, I'll be going off the ladder just there and ease myself in. When I, uh, uh, I'm gonna do. Like half somersaults, twisted turn. Uh, minimal we'll entry. Shot. Minimal we'll splash on entry. We'll shot. <laughs> shot. 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 Man, these men are so scared. Okay, we got no insurance for sharks, jellyfish, anything like that, right? You ready? Ready? We got three, two, one. Cold. Woo! Is it cold? No, it's nice and refreshing. Is it? Woo! Your turn, Rob. <laughs> yeah, check me, check me later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not as good as super as him. So basically, right now, Flex is going to the sandbar where you can stand in the water. Right? But because two of the other jet skis are broken, can't be a river. Um, we have to do tricks. <laughs> this is surreal. This is in the middle of the ocean or sea, the Gulf. And uh, there's like a sand sandbar up here, right? And as you walk, it just gets more and more shallow, as you can see. It's like that surreal feeling of like, you're in a swimming pool, but you're not. <laughs> you're definitely not. You're, as you can see, in the middle of the sea. And um, ah, it gets shallow really quick. And uh, ah, yeah, pebbles, man. Um, this is mad thing. Look, look at this. Wow. It's like you're fully on the shore, but obviously you're not. Oh, that's crazy. Welcome to DR Sports, live from the middle of the ocean in the Gulf. Here comes Al. Hello, oh, mate. Ain't got a date. Look at that view, people. Beautiful. Absolutely it's stunning, mate. Honestly, it's just it's a bit like the, the River Mersey, but a little bit nicer. <laughs> That is Robbie. Yeah. <laughs> he's in his normal clothes, he not realise he's going to get soaked. Yeah, Robbie's going to get soaked. I bet he's got his phone in his pocket. Yeah. <laughs> Robbie's just pulling up here. Yeah. I don't think he's understood the assignment. He's in his normal, he's in his boohoo man gear. Careful. <laughs> <laughs> You're the wanker, mate. You got no. Oh, he's got trunks on. Oh, he has Oh, he's not getting off, he's just coming for a little spin to call us wankers. Oh. <laughs> Robbie literally just come by just to go wankers, wankers. This is DR Sports, so I'm AGT. And I'm Flex. And this, and this is, is the FIFA, FIFA World, World Cup 2022 in Qatar. In Qatar. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 
Qatar and welcome back to another edition of a credible morning show that we do here every single morning and it's a special one this morning because as you can see my brother Flex yes. Yes, it's his birthday today yes. happy birthday yes, my yes. big up yeah. big up you put the graft in you deserve a day off but works if we run yeah uh, <laughs> deserve a day off we ain't getting it so Big up, man. Look at this. Oh, wow. Hey, man, that for you. No way. You bought this for me as well? Yeah. Oh, look at this, man. The love. I'm feeling the love. Oh, you probably can't take your hands off it. That's crazy. Look at that personalized picture. I've got to make a wish. Happy birthday. Make a wish. Wish for your night for winning a trophy, yeah? <laughs> oh, you see, it's, it's a bad mind wish. I mean, you would take that cake. No, no, this is the wish for everyone to just. You know what I mean? Keep going in the life, blessings, do you know what I mean? Progression. That's it. Not even football related, just life related. Just, yeah, everyone love keep that, doing their thing. Yes. yes. Love that. Yes. Big art. Look at that. Personalised enough. Jeez. It looks alright for 35 like he's on it, isn't it? Thank yeah, you guys. Of it before you eat it, man. Yeah, definitely. It's been a mad journey. That's about to get even madder. farm so um, when they say farm over it I mean, when we say farm in England we're thinking a field with some uh, cows in it sheep maybe they've grown some uh, corn something like that uh, as we know in this country everything's on another level so I think they have all those things but also they keep animals a bit like a zoo sort of thing so uh, let's go and see what's here but I'm telling you, put your hands in, you're losing your hands. I will, that's what I'm saying, you lot go and make sure everything's alright. It is. Give me the green light after I've been that. here a few... <laughs> yeah, you're bottle dropping, come on man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look straight, look straight. Straight to right. You woke someone up in the middle of the night. Come on, Flex, Ice. No, no, I'm alright. I'm Alex. Back I'm back here, I'm alright, I'm alright. Alex, come. Show these boys how it's done, Alex. Don't worry. Yeah. It's gas is together. Arsenal yeah. flops, Man United flops. <laughs> what, are they just chilling? Yeah, yeah they're yeah. short. Sure. Sure. Yeah, we've got things to play for, never sure. Yeah. I beg you get a picture of him. Hmm? I don't like what, you sure, you sure he's happy when he's growling like that? 
Let me just let me just, just pet the thing, man. Go on, pet the thing. I will in a minute. Actually, let me just, let me just actually beautiful animals are really proper. quick, fast, aren't they? Proper. Good <laughs> You won't be able to drive if you've only got one hand. You know, what I mean? so stop, stop doing that. Stop putting your foot in the hand there. Sex is allowed in Qatar, as you can see. Pubbed turtles and stuff. Here you can see the young tortoise. We're going back into his shell after Jason has filmed it during intercourse. See you later, alligator. Even you're back you're here. That's how I know. Well, I'll go in there, but it's facing me. Look, look, look. how quick that moves. Look how quick that moves. Look how quick that moves. Don't get it twisted, you know. These men are brave. Where's the car? He started charging. Where's the car? No, I'm good. I mean, I'm a black man, you know. I've got to check my distance, you know. I'm going to get back, you know what I mean? You know what I mean already? Yeah. Like you could just see it. It's like it's just melting there, ready to just drop off the boat. Brilliant. Look at this. It's unreal. Beautiful. Robbie, I've got like a curry stew chicken. At Perfect food. It drops neat. Night night before the game, mate. Night night, night, but. How is it? Too good, too good, man. When the meat just falls off the bone, the rice. Oh. I'm full up now. I have to sleep after. <laughs> I thought I might come back here slimmer. So we're here in the middle of the desert. Jesus. Jesus. We're here in the middle of the desert doing some falcon, I don't know, collective, what do you call it? Training. Training. Yeah. They train it to how to fly around and that. Mm. Again, I've seen this shit on TV. Never thought I'd be up close in person. Oh wait, what have I got to do first? <laughs> I will show you. Come. Now close your fingers, slowly, and leave. Go. So it's look the nature. Everything they just stay wild, they won't be trained. Oh. Is that a camera? No, the striker. Let the bird turn. Let the bird turn. I will open this. When the bird fly, leave it. Leave your fingers. Let him go. Shot to water man. coming up. Clean shot, Don Robbie, don't miss. Clean. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I am going to 
France versus Poland in the round of 16. Um, six o'clock kickoff in Al Mama Stadium. It's currently four, and it's a while to get there, so we need to go rapid, man. But right now we're in the desert, Falcon training. It's like something out of the film Casino, you know? Right? When Pesci and De Niro meet up in the desert, it's crazy, man. So yeah, let's go. This is England versus Senegal. Oh, okay. How good, how good, how good. Finals, um, baby, yes. get in there. Easy work, Quarter mate. Quarter final, easy. Bring on France, come on. Uh, yes, all good. Told you. How are you feeling there? I'm feeling absolutely <laughs> fantastic, like on top of the world. Taki Minamino takes the first penalty for Japan at this end. This. It's a poor, poor penalty as well, you know. And if Croatia score here, the Japanese are going home. Croatia are through to the quarterfinals of the World Cup 2022 in Qatar. Oh no, Minamino crying on the pitch. It's okay my friend, next time. It's such a shame, it's such a beautiful story being Germany and Spain. They never had the team that anyone expected would go through to these rounds and they still found a way. Our last um, Good Morning Qatar shirt is an absolute pleasure and honour to, to deliver you this content both on this show and of course throughout the tournament. So I'm on my way back to London in the next few hours, mate. <coughs> Don't go, man! Don't go, Alex. So, man. Nah, it's actually it's... hella sad. Try the good innings. Yeah. Honestly, it's been, I'll never forget this one, so I have to say that. Like, massive thank you to you for bringing me out. Wait, you see the temperature's back on. <laughs> yeah, I know, mate. I've been got a minus three, man. Right? Minus three. <laughs> that, yeah, that wanker's gone. Yeah, you're <laughs> so fun now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought you'd never leave, mate. You know what I mean? Bad time, man. The man sad that I'm leaving, my bro, man. Thank you for the everything, man. Oh, no, the man's crying, bro. man's crying. We're celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, yeah. Hey, man, you're going okay? Here he goes, <laughs> getting booed. <laughs> Safe journey, man. Safe. Take care, man. See you later. Man like AGT, man. One man down. Man down, man down. See you later, Perth. Twenty-eight days. Twenty-eight days to see everything. <laughs> wow. What's this item for? What's this for? Make a sound. Blow and make a sound. Nope. Uh, um, you got three guesses. Toilet. Nope. Not toilet. <laughs> 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 something doesn't Is exist. Is it you? You put something inside and burn? No, it doesn't exist. Actually. No. Yeah. Would you like to tell us? Yeah. We you can know what it's us. for? It's, it's for. You should get one of these at Man United. <laughs> oh, no, I already know it's right. going to be something. Don't you? No, it's for, to put your. It's for your tears. Oh yeah. really? Yeah. Choose by the girls. So if you're but crying, the, the girls because if the if the husband is away and the girls she's she crying over him, missing him, she was collecting the tears, 
when the husband comes, she's shown him how much she cried over him. Wow. So this is a way to to uh, to 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 show how much she loving him. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. when Ronaldo left Man United, <laughs> that was with all the Man United fans. It was full up, full up with tears. So the last time, the last time Arsenal won the but league, the basically is, in 2004, you collect it all the way to now. But yeah. The question is, if the husband came back and didn't find no tears. tears. Plus, before so <laughs> <laughs> you come back, the first thing I do open up and check how much. Uh... <laughs> so this is the smallest Quran. Yeah, the smallest though. Quran, and the whole Quran is written by horse here. And to read it inside, is there like magnifying glass? That's insane. The smallest Quran, from the smallest to the biggest in one room, the biggest Quran in the world. Wow. The longest Quran in the world. What did you say, yeah. seven, seven meters? Seven wow. meters, yeah. Quran. The whole Quran is written in there. Jason's got a decent lens here, but I don't even think that lens can... You can't, it's so small. That's amazing. That is crazy. Do you imagine the person who wrote that, yeah? How long it took them? Actually, yeah, I didn't even think and of that. How long, how did they write that? How would they... Yeah, if, it's if not you, like if they If you did one mistake... It. Start again. It's not again. No. <laughs> Actually, I didn't even think about that. I'm just thinking, oh, that's small. Yeah, like, yeah, that's right. yeah, that's someone's right. actually written that. Yeah, someone's actually written it. It's, written it. it's, it's not like they've printed you know, it. And no, they've got to write normally and handwrite. Quran, it, it takes, normally, Quran takes about three years to be written. Three years and one year to revise. Princess Diana room. Um, not yeah, yeah, the, can, not yeah. to the public yet, but we can, can we film? Yeah, no problem. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so where's the table? Hmm? The table. Yes, the table, that they do the uh, marriage contract. This one. Marriage contract on Yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh, I wish you wore that dress. Like this. It's actually her one? Yeah. Jeez. I'm surprised the um, family don't have it. Yeah. Engagement ring. Huh? The engagement ring. Yeah. That's actually the engagement ring. Jeez. That's priceless. That's priceless items there. Diana's engagement ring and her brooch. Necklace, sorry. That's actually no, a lovely. Of Princess Diana. There is someone who drove Princess Diana. is Michael Jackson. And he gave this to Diana as a gift. He gave this? Yes. He gave this draw to Diana. He could draw decent, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Diana wrote this when she was young. Yeah. Dear Mum and Daddy, I hope you had a nice journey and that you are enjoying your holiday. We had a power something Monday. Power cut. Power cut on Monday. And I went to bed with a candle in my room. Lots of love, Diana. So she's obviously written that to her own mum and dad. Original thing. Ronaldo was here last week, mate. Give him a signed shirt. It's a game from Macedonia and Portugal in 2022. But he's come here, they've had him here, they've signed up the shirt. They've got Michael Schumacher's racing gear here. And so much more. Insane. So if, it, if, the cap, if the cap dropped down here, if this you can't get it back, no? <laughs> Drop my phone down there, you can't you, get it back. You can try now. <laughs> <laughs> Lamborghini had a 4x4 four four back then. Exactly, because that was... Uh, I thought just now, would, maybe Eurus, maybe now, but... Lamborghini. Original Lambo, man. 86. <laughs> Twenty seventeen was he was having this the blockade from each of the, the, the boundaries in, in the Middle East and there's like a tension for every country so Shak Faisal was a visionary man that he he how can I say he offered this car to let people sign sign each of the the names or whatever they wanna they wanna write just to feel like uh, you are we are into this. We yes. are together. together with this. Wow. Whatever happens, so yeah. Like a yeah. nice gesture. Yeah, yeah. This is about experiences in the world. How do they write with the word 
<laughs> That's actually my best writing I've ever done as well. Thank you, Qatar. Love it. French shirt, not one straight Morocco sentence. That's what we're dealing with today, mate. Straight Morocco settings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, the real fair. No one cares about the goat anymore. It's about these lot, yeah? Morocco, because we're going all the way. <laughs> you're, you're, you're supposed to be neutral in this, you know what I mean? Sorry, you're sorry, sorry. Nice <laughs> to start no, off, no, I mean. no, I'm not neutral in this, because uh, I've been I've been adopting Moroccan since they took me in the group stages, you know what I mean? Funny. I mean, we're, we're watching history. I mean, just w walking here through the suit, the amount of Moroccan fans that are here, the expectation, it's over, beautiful, man. man. It's beautiful to see, you know, this, this is perfect for this World Cup. Morocco, they dare to dream. They keep believing the passion, the fierceness of the fans. They're doing it for the Arab nations. They're doing it for all of Africa. The whole continent is behind them. No! Where is Thibaut Courtois? Oh! Hakimi to win this. If Hakimi scores, then Morocco will be going through to the quarterfinal. It's Hakimi now. Hakimi steps up. Amazing scenes, man. Amazing scenes. Don't let anybody tell you anything bad about this World Cup. The football has shone through right to the top and brought everyone together. I'm not Muslim, I'm not from Morocco, but these guys are taking me in because the football that is here and it's the football that everyone is united for. Amazing. Erafat, this way! Erafat, this way! Come on, Morocco! This is it. Still will die for Morocco. They're lions, they're warriors, they're fierce, they're strong, they're powerful. Can they overcome the sheer might of Portugal? The sheer... That's it, they've done it! They've done it! They've done it! They're through to the semi-final of the World Cup of Qatar 2022! The place has gone crazy! Yes. We will win the yes. World Cup! The first African country to ever reach a World Cup semi-final. Morocco, the dream that keeps dreaming. They topped their group, they sent Spain home, they sent Portugal home, they beat Belgium. Can they send the defending champions France home? Bufal again, everything is going through Bufal, what a player. You know what? It all came from Griezmann, man. And there you have it. The fairy tale has come to an end for Morocco, man. They can be proud. And you can still hear they're singing just like they've won this. They're singing like they've gone to the World Cup final. But it's not them, it's France. And they deserve it, man. They've been flawless in defence. Morocco did, did the best they could. They gave as good as they could. But in the end, France has had too much for them. And defensively, they're absolutely fantastic. And Anton Griezmann was my man of the match. He was absolutely brilliant. Messi and Mbappe final, that's what it's going to be. It's a sad time, man. It is a sad time. You kind of wanted the fairy tale to continue, but this is it. The last time we're going to be at the Outback. It's the last time Morocco are going to be in the competition. They've, like I said earlier, man, they've, they've made history regardless. You know, before they even kicked off tonight, they, um, they made history. It does feel weird, I'm not going to lie, walking out here and it is an absolute scene. It's, uh, it's quite sad. It's quite sad. Very sad but for sure very proud, all right? First of all, I want to say thank you to the players. Thank you especially to the coach. This is more than just reaching the finals. Absolutely. This is a lot more than that. It has so many, so many other... For example, now we believe in ourselves. Now we know that we can do stuff, not only in sports, in so many stuff that we believe in our local players, local people, yeah? Mm -hmm. 
We are so proud. We are so happy what we did so far. And inshallah, inshallah, in the African Cup, we're gonna take it. We are in the stadium. Big game this round, feels big. Feels nervous. And England finally doing that. It's gonna be tough. Very good French team. You can see it right there. Welcome everybody to another episode here at QBS Mondial. I'm your host, Salim Shinyuni, alongside me, Rodri Williams. It is a pleasure being with the QBS listeners on 97.5. Be part of the show, text us on the special guests with us here in our beautiful studios in Katara Beach. Uh, it is a pleasure and an honor because I'm a big fan. You know well, I'm a big Salim fan. Salim came in the other day. Well, I want to introduce him first. Then first, we have Robbie Lyle from AFTV and DR Sports. And with him, Flex, one of my favorites on YouTube. And uh, it's a pleasure having you guys. You've been um, immersing yourself with the fans of those countries that have produced the shocks. And you've got these great sort of moments with fans, you know, and it's, it's, it's been a special World Cup for that. No, it's been a very special World Cup. These are the finest, and I know that's, that specifically is not on Gareth Southgate, but in terms of a better drilled team to manage the pressure moments, that stems from a mentality that comes from a manager that instills that in a squad over time. And I just feel that we're just falling short on that. And I don't think there's any shame. Mm. Gareth Southgate has been brilliant for England. He's, he's got us to this point where England fans can say, we should be winning the World Cup. We should be winning the Euros. We never had that before. Well, to me, Peter, but to go me I'm, still, I'm still on the thing that, you know, I'd replace him only if there's something. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see them. Shout out to Big X and Ty and everyone yeah. that works for uh, DR Sports, The United View and AFTV. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you so Thank much you for having us. Thanks for having us. Okay. All right, guys. It's really enjoyable. Excellent. It's so good excellent. to just talk football for yeah, an hour yeah, and just yeah, everything, good. man. It's really fun. Good. No adverts. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually, yeah. Let me do like talk sports, things like Perfect. Okay, good, good. So, yo, Ty, I've got a special present for you, right, all the way from Qatar, look. Brand new pair of headphones, man. After all this time, the World Cup is coming to an end. Uh, you know, can Messi get that World Cup that he's been craving for? Can France, you know, win back-to-back -back World Cups? I mean, this is unprecedented in a modern age. He is the key. He is. He's the absolute key to this game. You know, 
he's very hard to stop. Very like what we're describing with Mbappe in that he can have periods of the game where he doesn't really seem to. It's just that one it's pass. Of life, yeah. Okay, guys, it is World Cup final day. Shake Robbie and Shake Flex are on their way. This is it, man. This, this is it. it. Man, you know I mean, we're privileged to be able to go to the final. We've got final tickets. And um, this is going to be a great game today, Argentina versus France. Way, way, way more Argentinians here than French fans. But yeah, we're really looking forward to it. We parked the car. We've, we've really walked about two miles <laughs> just to get to the stadium. Messi versus Mbappe. We're man. in for a of a final, man. Let's go and see what Let's the loose cell stadium has to offer. We're going to do on. this. Inside the iconic Lucelle Stadium, I'm telling you now, if Argentina bring this home, if Messi brings this home, it's the the roof, the roof off of the Lucelle Stadium is gonna fire. rip off. The roof is on fire. <laughs> wow! It's just insane. Both teams feeling each other out, man. Robbie, how you feeling? It's slightly better team so far for me in Argentina. But without really doing it much. Like you said, it's a heavyweight contest, man. They're both feeling each other out. <laughs> so I mean, it's quite good, man. If you're wondering why the levels are a bit weird, I'm standing up there. There's a little boy behind Robbie, so uh, he's not he's not standing up. He's being nice. Well, I don't care. To Argentina, definite pen. Lots of definite pens from here. Chance for Argentina to get one in up. Yeah, I Messi's going to take it. Hundred percent. Messi can take it. Oh my God. He's got to have the coolest nerve. The coolest nerves in the world. Will he do a Harry Kane? Yes. No, he won't. He won't do that. He won't do that. He won't do a Harry Kane. Wow. That's about to blow the whistle. And he give Argentina the lead in this World Cup. Messi steps up. Left footed. Now it is because France are uh, 10 minutes ago. France have done nothing, nothing but penalty to them. You take it, Griezmann's gone off. Uh, Griezmann's gone off. Mbappe, surely, isn't it? It's got to be Mbappe. Yeah, and uh, you know what? Martin has done with penalties. He is 78th minute as well. This will make it interesting. But before this, France have had absolutely nothing. This will make it nervy for the last 15 minutes. Let's see if they can score it. Total domination, yeah, total. Mbappe to take it. Here it comes. He scored it. He scored France it. Back in it. Mbappe gets it. Goes to the same side. The keeper's got us a great penalty as well. And he picks the ball up and runs back to the centre circle. Game on. All of a sudden, there's gaps all over the place. France are in. Mbappe scores in major problems. Turam, major problems. Argentina looking trouble. I can't believe it. Wow. Oh. That's a free kick. It's made on. Oh! That's a good save by Martinez. Oh my god. Wow. Shouts to the penalty there again as well. Shouts to the penalty, the referee didn't give it. Argentina at sixes and sevens, they need the whistle to go to get to extra time. Frog, 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 frog. He's taking the absolute kick. Put the balls in his hand. He's going around, walking around. He's doing it to do that. Yeah.
just hit him. Trey, Argentina in the driving seat. They're on the way to winning the World Cup. Put it wide, man. They got a ball for it. Look at that awful. Dumb players. Yeah, right in front of the these technical mountains. Martinez with the elite shit out of three, man. Paredes to step up. He will score. Oh, 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 he will oh. score. The momentum is with them, man. He will score. Paredes steps up. Right footed. Bang. FIFA World Cup 2022 in Qatar. Oh my days. I got I, speechless. Speechless. I'm, I'm, uh, listen, I'm speechless, man. What, what a final. What a competition. What a World Cup. It's been wonderful. Everything about this has been wonderful. I'm really going to miss it, you know that? Yeah. It's felt like home the past uh, month or so. It really has felt like home. And um, coming to these matches has really been a real family atmosphere at every game. And I really wanted Argentina to win this. Not just because, a lot of people, it's because of Messi and stuff. But I wanted them to win it because of that. But really it was their fans. You know me, I'm all about fans, yeah? And their fans, right from the beginning of this competition, they just capture me, man. Always behind their team. Always full of vibes. Today, when France came back from 2-0 down to bring back to 2-2, they were still singing. Amazing, amazing fans, and um, it's just been a great tournament. You know, what I mean, it's been well organised. The stadiums have been brilliant. The games have been brilliant. 
the, the atmosphere in the stadiums have been brilliant and it's been great as well for people down this side of the world to witness what we've witnessed, witness the greatness of Messi in Mbappe today, witness all these Mbappe brilliant players that, are, um, that we get a lot of times to see across Europe that they, you know, may be seen for the first time ever in their lifetime and maybe even the last time. So this is why it's important for the World Cup to go around the world. You know, it shouldn't just be a European competition. It shouldn't just always go to the, the traditional countries. If we're going to spread the game around the world, we've got to bring it to places like this. And they are football mad in the Middle East. The Qataris, the Saudi the Arabians, the Moroccans, the, the, I mean, they're football. The, the Egyptians who didn't even get to yeah. qualify. All the so Arab many of them were here, yeah. yeah. So it was important to bring it here. It and, was. Um, it it's was. been a massive success. Listen, there were issues before that were well spoken about, right? And to me, the way to, to, um, build, to, to try to deal with these things is to build relationships with people. You know what I mean? It's not going to happen overnight, but this is how you build dialogue. We're here every day speaking to different people um, from Qatar, from, from the Middle East. And trust me, they're not against talking. It's been brilliant. And this is why today we decided to come dressed like this in the traditional phobes and that because we really wanted to embrace what we've witnessed and felt since we came here um, in November. So, them. That's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get back at his Christmas in it. Yeah, it really doesn't yeah, feel yeah, like it. But, back to Christmas, but I tell yeah. you what, the fact that it isn't Christmas, that's, that's what one thing, it doesn't feel like it. But to be here and experience this first hand, you know, like what we said, after you said it, let's go on. There's mm. been so much made about this World Cup before a ball was even kicked. And you know what? I think a lot fell at the door, of, uh, the doorstep of football, and almost like football had to sort all of these problems. And I think what got lost before that was that the magic and football and love and the beauty of football wasn't there before. And as soon as the first ball was kicked, right till now. Yeah. That is what has shown through. Yeah, yeah. Football, you and know? that's what it is. We're in for football, you know what I mean? And, and, and um, you know, let's keep it football. You know, um, and football is a, really does have the power to affect change. And football really does have the power to start dialogue. Yeah. Right? You know what I mean? You don't, you don't have to start dialogue by just coming to Same a place like this and criticizing him about everything. And, you know, we came here, we said, right, we're going we're gonna to tell the truth of what we see. If we see, that, you know, it does sort of fit uh, what we were being told, we'll say it. It's been the complete opposite. It's been absolutely brilliant. And I've loved it. I've absolutely loved it. And it's got more friends here. Yo, how are you guys doing? What's happening? We've bumped into our friends here, man. What's happening? What's happening? How are you doing? How are you doing? These guys here. These guys here. We've met them on this trip, but they've, yeah. been, they've looked after us so well, man. Yes, yes. Qatar, we love Qatar, man. Yeah. One more Argentina, <laughs> Messi, Messi! Messi! Oh, I thought he was Real Madrid. <laughs> Real Madrid? I don't like it the second moment. <laughs> <laughs> Cristiano is excellent. <laughs> There you, you go, there you go, man. So as we wrap up here, Qatar, thank you so much for having us. Argentina are the world champions, and Lionel Messi solidifies himself in the game as the greatest ever player, arguably or whatever. But he is unbelievable. Season. It's a sad moment, man. We're going home. We're going home. The World Cup has ended. Amazing experience. All the people we've seen. It has been unbelievable. And uh, Qatar is like a second home now, it's like a family. And we're gonna be coming back here. I'm definitely gonna be coming back here. All good. Yeah, yeah. 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 Pleasure to meet you, man. Pleasure. Pleasure to meet you. Keep in contact, yeah, you got us on the yeah, phones, yeah, yeah. what's up? Yeah. Alright, hey man. Take care, man. See you soon, man.